Hello and welcome to Linux in tutorial. Today we're going to learn about the fork system call. We're going to learn what a fork system call is, why is it used, and how to invoke a fork system call using C programming language. So let's get started with the video. Well, in simple words, the fork system call is used to create new processes. The newly created process is called the child process. The process which calls the fork and creates a new process is called the parent process. The child and parent process are executed concurrently or in other words asynchronously. But the child and the parent process reside on different memory locations. These memory spaces have same content and whatever operation is performed by one process will not affect the other process. We can open up the manual for the fork process in Linux by opening up terminal and typing in the command man to fork this command should open up the manual for the fork process on your terminal on this manual you can read about the in-depth details of the fork process as you can see to use the fork system call in our c program we need to include these two libraries in our c code to demonstrate the working of the fork process we are going to create a new file which we're going to call the fork.c and inside this file, we are going to use the following code. As you can see from the code, that inside the main function, we are calling the fork function. This should create a new process, which should be the child process. And the next line, which is this printf line, should be executed two times. One by the parent process and second time by the child process. Now, if you save this file and compile it and execute it through the terminal, we should see the following output. Now, as you can see on your terminal that the fork command executed two printf functions, one by the parent process and the other one by the child process. The eternal structure of the processes looks somewhat like this. So we have our main parent function over here. And when the fork system call was executed, the parent function was divided into two different functions. One of them was the parent function, which called the fork function and the child process that was created as a result of this fork call. The number of outputs that we get can be calculated by the formula 2 raised to the power of n, where n is the number of fork system calls made by the parent program. So in our case, or I should say in this code, we had only one fork call. <coughs> that is why we have two outputs in our terminal. You can read more information about the properties of the child process and the properties of the parent process on the Linux Hints website under the article title fork system call. Moving on to the next example, we are going to use the following code. So what this code does is that every time the fork is called, it returns a value. And depending upon the value, the following lines are executed. If there is any error in the fork call, we will get this line. The fork will return a value of negative 1. When a fork command is executed, the child process gets the program ID of 0. So that is why when P is checked against the integer value 0, this should mean that we are inside the child process and for the parent process any value except 0 or negative 1 means that we are inside the parent process so if we execute the following command or we execute the following program we should see the following output as you can see on the terminal for the first output we were inside the parent process this is the process that executed the fork call and created this child process that is it for the tutorial of fork system call using C programming language. You can read more about the fork system call and other system calls in Linux using the C programming language on Linux Hints website.